Ordoro offers barcode scanning for your products, and you'll need to set the products up with their UPCs in order for the barcode scanning to work. Once your products are all set up with the UPCs, you will be able to scan the barcode to search for them in your account. And you can also use them when packing orders to verify the correct items are being packed. This tutorial is going to go over the ways to add your UPCs to your account. So to get started, let's go ahead and go to the products section. And I have my barcode scanner hooked up, so make sure you've got that connected to your computer and ready to go. Um, the first way that I'm going to mention getting UPCs into your Ordoro account is if you actually have those already set up on your sales channel, if, if your sales channel that you're using has a field for that, when you connect your products and it first imports, it will import that UPC if it's there on that first import. So maybe you have that set up already and you don't even have to manually do it within your Ordoro account, that's great. Um, if you don't though, and you need to add them to your Ordoro account, um, we'll go to the product section here. And I have a few products next to me I'm gonna use to set up their UPCs. So I'm just gonna search for them them up here um, you'll see I have these three set up and what I'm gonna do I'll start with this first one this yarn and taupe I'm gonna click on the product and it brings me to the product detail page and over here you'll see I have my UPC field but it's not configured so I'll click edit focus my mouse on that field pick up the item and my scanner and just scan the barcode Hit save and that's all good for this product. Now I'll go ahead and continue with the other two products that I have here. I've got the same item. Uh, I just have it in a few different colors. Scan this one, hit save, go back to my searched order. You'll see I have here, I searched for this. So if I just go back, it maintains the search in the URL. So that's great, makes it quick. Um, go to this last one, hit edit, scan it in, save. That's all I got to do. Um, as you can see, if you do have a lot of products that you're setting up this way, it could take a bit to get that all done. Um, so another th way to get your UPCs in, especially if you already have them like in, in a spreadsheet or something like that, you can go to settings, data import, and then the type of data that you're going to use is update product. Download that example file. It's got a field for the UPCs in there. So um, just make sure you have that set up. Or if you already have a report, just make sure you have the required fields for the update product. Um, I believe it's just SKU. Yeah, SKU is the only one that's required for this import. Uh, you'll see that by this asterisk required there. So make sure you have your SKU in here and your UPC. You can even delete these other columns since you, unless you want to update them. But if you're not worried about updating those, just delete those out and then enter your SKU and your UPCs here. Save it and just drag and drop here and upload like you would a normal data import. And that's it. That's three ways it'll come from your sales channel if you have it set up there um, on the first product import. It will if you need to set it up, set them up one by one, you just go to the product section, find the product, edit the UPC, or do it in bulk through the data import. But if you have any questions about that, just let us know and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.